Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region blew up all three bridges over the Seam River, isolating about 300 miles of territory and cutting off Russian units there from the main forces. As Forbes writes, from August the 16th to the 21st, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed three bridges in Glushkovo, Zvanoy and Gariz. The Russians try to establish temporary pontoon crossings, but the Ukrainian armed forces did not allow them to do so. Ukrainian drones intercepted some of the bridges while they were still in transit, and M30-31 missiles fired hundreds of grenade bombs at one of the pontoons, Forbes writes. As a result, after six days of river campaigning, a huge section of the Kursk region and all Russian troops located there was effectively cut off from land supplies and reinforcements. That the Ukrainians are so determined to isolate the Kursk region to the left of the seam is a strong signal that their next move could be a ground attack through the seam into the region they just isolated, Forbes writes. According to Ukraine's Center for Defense Strategies, the Ukrainian armed forces are seeking to get ahead of the enemy in the operational deployment of forces in this direction and the destruction of bridges is key. Russians can no longer easily reach this part of the Kursk region, unlike Ukrainians, who can get to the area by crossing the border. And the Russians also cannot resupply and reinforce their troops. Between the seam and the border with airlifts, the Ukrainians have made the skies over the Kursk region extremely unfavorable for Russian helicopters, shooting down several of them since the invasion began on August the 6th. While the Ukrainian incursion in the western Russian territory of Kursk seems to be steadily gaining ground, the Russians are close to achieving a goal of their own in the Donbass after they took the town of New York and advanced on a key transport junction of Pokrovsk. In the Kursk area, the Ukrainian forces are trying to seize Korenovo. The fall of this city would allow them to strengthen their defences in Russian territory and build a coherent buffer zone to protect Kharkiv and other northern cities. Such a buffer zone, stated by President Volodymyr Zelensky, to be the incursion's main goal would be a major operational success for the Ukrainians. On August 22nd, there was a drone attack on the city of Kalik na Donu, Volgograd region of Russia. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. Ukrainian drones are said to have attacked the Marinovka military airfield. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. Local residents say they heard about 10 explosions. Su-24 Mr. Reconnaissance aircraft are located at the Marinovka airfield. These planes were used to launch a missile attack on Ukraine. It is said that shells meant for airplanes exploded at the aerodrome. No casualties are reported. There were about 14 Su-24 and 15 Su-34 aircrafts there. каком-то этом в фильме да вон с той стороны с торца ну пластик наверное еще как-то сохранился обычные стеклянные угу. это жесть вот ах не видать Там, где все вот это горит. Это чехнота, она вообще... Поле горит. Ну, поле-то хигня горит, ты посмотри, как там все. 